see that back. Good morning again. Back and zero. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. In today's video, we will learn how to read out a 44E 938 Hall Effect Sensor. It's a very simple and quick tutorial this week. The schematic. So let's start out with the schematic. As you can see, I will be using the 44E938 Hall Effect Sensor. The thing is that this one is made exactly for the Arduino Uno and as you can see you'll have to, do the, uh, you'll have to wire this one like so but to make the task a little bit more challenging and to make the Hall Effect sensor smaller and usable for the uh, Raspberry Pi as well I'll, um, I cut out the PCB so that I am left with only this. Now to wire this you will have to make some small changes to your schematic. Firstly your ground and your 5 volt will have been switched. So now hook these, up, uh, hook these two up like so and you'll have to add a resistor of 220 ohms and this one has to be connected between the 5 volt pin towards your data pin to be able to read out the data. I have connected the data pin to pin number 3 for your information. Now that this is done we can start with the code. So let's start with declaring like usual. We'll create two integers one for our, for our Hall Effect sensor with the value 3 and an integer to store our value in that we'll be reading out. This will be either a 0 or a 1, so let's make that integer a boolean instead. Now on to the setup. Let's start out with our monitor firstly, like so, and we'll set our pin mode for integer Hall to input. Next we go on to our loop. Now like I said, this is going to be a very short tut tutorial, so our code will be 2. First thing we want to do is read out our integer ha uh, hal, hal, and at the same time we'll store this value into our boolean val. Now that this is done, last thing we'll have to do is print out our value and add a delay of 1 second to make it readable. There we go, now let's verify verify our code and run this. Now let's open up the monitor and it will constantly read out 1. Now if you hold up a magnet close to the Hall effect sensor with the correct pole headed towards the sensor, it will start, uh, it will start to read out 0. And as you can see, it changed to zero. See that back. Good morning again. Back and zero. There we go. Now, if your sensor doesn't change, you, uh, doesn't change, you might want to roll around your magnet until it does. So, so let's try that again. You'll see it will change to zero. If I roll around the magnet a little bit, and now you see. My pole has changed and it changed uh, and it turned to one. If I turn it around again, and it changed to zero. There we go. So what to do now? I, I advise you to buy the 44A E938 uh, Hall Effect sensor. Uh, I'll have a link in the description down below. This sensor isn't included into the uh, original Arduino starter kit, I think. But I still advise you to buy the starter kit or the cheaper version. A link to that will be in the description as well. Uh, there should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. 
As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page containing all of my files that I used in today's video, such as the fritzing scheme and the Arduino code. Link for that down below or on screen. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.